<clears throat> Howdy and hello and welcome back to Mike's Game Domain. This is Mike and we're playing, um, <laughs> I almost said Supreme Commander, no, we're playing uh, Planetary Annihilation Titans once again. So as you can tell from the galactic map here, I've done a bit of exploring and conquering. Um, really though, I have to say this game type, it's got bad reviews and I can see why, is really, really boring. So every single one of these battles so far has been one versus one on one planet. <laughs> um, you know, the whole fun of this game is to fight in a solar system with multiple planets, you know, possibly against multiple uh, enemies. There's epic games online like 2v2v2v2 2v2 2v2 or 5v5v5. I mean, just it gets crazy. So this is what, like 20, I don't know, 20 or so battles. And it's been one on one, you know, one AI. It doesn't even seem like the AI's um, difficulty level is really going up. So I'm going to work my way through it because it's fun. Oh, I meant to show you my little bonuses. So anyway, um, after you, you finish a battle, you get to choose what bonus you want. I've been bonusing heavily bots. So my bots are like super crazy strong. Um, it's just basically what has become available to me. I'm trying to build like a like a uh, synergistic, you know, each one kind of helps because you can kind of get a little bit of everything. I'm trying to focus down onto one thing and I just keep getting good bot bonuses. So I'm grabbing them. So anyway, there's been a fun strategy. Look, look. I have, uh, oh, there's two planets. Ooh, that's different. But it looks like there's still only one enemy. Okay. So it's one versus one. It's an AI and there's two planets. Well, that's fun. At least you get to see that. Um, okay, so we can't spawn on the red planet, but there's a ton of mass. So I'm guessing the first player to get to the red planet and take it over is really gonna be in a big advantage. And then Janky, <laughs> we've got Mangzor and Janky, and Vanguard is the system. Okay, so Janky. Actually, there's a lot of mass on Janky, too. Um, it doesn't really matter. This one seems to be a good one. So, uh, okay, I'll kind of show you the strategy I've been taking, and it's just because it works quickly. I'm not going to say this is, like, the best strategy ever. I doubt it would work against any opponent of actual intelligence. But I'll just show you. It's really fun. Um, that's why I do it. It's super fun. So we're going to build... Um, We'll just build six. We'll build six fabricator bots. Got my commander building a bot factory. As soon as he's done, I'm going to tell him to assist it, and that will build my first couple bots quickly. And I kind of like to have them... There we go. See, see how it zooms up real quick? Makes a big difference. So let's get him on... Uh-oh. I blocked my mass extractor, so that's not good. Uh, that's okay. We got plenty of mass extractor points. So I start working on mass extraction, and you're actually good to go. I'm going to be running out of energy here in just a second, so I need to start building some energy. Uh, power generators, probably about six of them. All right, let's go, team. You are going to come over here, do some mass expansion. We'll kind of head in it. Wow, it really dies off. Um, we'll head over here. We'll head over here. And then what I like to do is just say, here, populate the whole world. So <laughs> if you click and drag out as far as you can go, um, you're actually telling it to build the entire planet. Watch this. It goes out, 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 all the way around. So I just told this guy to build mass extractors on the entire surface of the planet. And so is he going to be able to complete that work? No, but what it does do is that means that my team is going to continually expand while I'm not thinking about it. So I can focus on other things. I can start focus on military efforts. And at least some of these guys, I do it for about six of them, and they all go out and they start doing different the order of operations that they choose is random and so they're all choosing different mass points to go work on and so you know you put a couple of, you put like three or four to work on it and yeah some of them may get blown up but the others kind of have it covered so what i'm finding is throughout the game i'm just constantly expanding my economy this way without having to think about it so again against a sophisticated probably a human opponent i doubt that would work but um but it does work really well against the ai it might work it might be a good strategy so the other thing i'm going to do is after these bots are built I'm going to tell them you can give them an initial order. So normally it's just like move and they would go over there and just sit right there. I'm going to tell them to patrol and I want them to patrol the entire planet. So as they get built, they're going to go and scout for me. I'm going to tell this factory to be on continuous build mode and I'm going to scout. I'm going to start building the boom. The boom is just a jihad uh, little spider bot. They get built super fast and they run super fast. And so they're actually really good at scouting the planet. Now they don't have good vision. But what they do do is whenever they um, find something, they literally walk into it and blow up. And they do a ton of damage. 
And so what you'll find, look, there's my second one. There's my third one. What you'll find is I will populate this entire planet and have the entire surface of the planet being scourged uh, by these little spiders. And it literally, the whole surface of the planet is just being, and so what that does, you can kill an entire base with them. It takes kind of a lot of them, like 20 or 30. But what that will do for me is it will prevent the enemy from expanding because all of their little uh, fabricators that are going out to these remote spots, those will get blown up in one hit. And so it very, very, very um, seriously hinders my opponent's ability to, um, to expand. So that's what I really like it for. I do have an idle bot. Uh, where is it? That's the question. F. F is to find the idle robot. What's going on? Idle bot. Where are you? Ugh, this is I don't like this. It doesn't snap to it. Where? Who's idle? Are you it? No, you're not. I don't know. I think that might be a little bug. Sometimes it'll say there's someone idle and there's not or whatnot. Usually if you push F, it'll it'll uh, select the idle fabricator for you. Well, anyway. <sighs> So yeah, this guy's pumping out little spider bots. You can see I've already got most of the planet surface being kind of scouted for me. And then if I want, I can hit Control F, which is not the default, but what I've coded to all combat bots and tell them to attack this area. And they will just literally flood in from all directions. Watch this. Boom, he explodes. About two or three of those will blow up a building. Um, they're really powerful. So wh <laughs> what I've done in the past is um, I, want a, I want a little builder bot. Let's see if I can find one. Oh man, where are my builders? All right, so anyway, what I've done in the past, I'm gonna tell these guys to cancel what they're currently, I'm gonna finish that, um, and go ahead and get me into orbital space so I can uh, go to that other planet. Now, I don't need to, I could easily kill this guy right now. Um, the AI is terrible, so I usually spend a lot of the time just toying with it and building things I don't really need and things like that. Um, I mean, yes, this is the learning, um, you know, the learning, mode or whatever so it's it, you know but even still this is uh this is sad i mean <laughs> the uh the enemy is just way too easy um there might be a difficulty slider somewhere i don't know i haven't really looked for it i need to i need to actually look for that i bet you i'd have to start over from the beginning and that's kind of what i don't want i don't really want to play this mode a lot i just wanted to experience the uh, unit the new units kind of um chronologically i guess you could say or you know, there's an order. Um, whenever you play these types of games, they give you better and better robots. So I wanted to learn them from simpler to more complicated. All right, so once this space station comes online, I'm gonna launch some orbital fabrication units. Um, we're going to send them to the other planet. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna immediately make a transport. This, this would normally be really risky, but because I know that my opponent is lousy and I've also been harassing him, and I know that he's basically in this one little area. I have no, I have zero worries that he has already expanded to the other planet. No chance at all. <laughs> so, so anyway, again, we're just kind of, we're going to kind of ignore him. <laughs> um, I think I'm actually going to stop building these guys because they're going to eventually just kill his whole base and then kill him. So we'll leave that alone. Um, we're going to focus our efforts on a transport. Oh, I already built one. Crap. Uh, stop. Wow, that was fast. Um, Okay, all you guys assist that. It'll help it build faster. I'm gonna grab my orbital transport, which is just like a little cargo carrier, but it flies into outer space. And I'm going to transport my commander off planet. And that way, I don't even have to worry about this planet. So that transport's gonna come pick him up. We got a couple um, orbital fabricators coming online and I'll show you what they can do. These are the uh, construction units for the space. Oh, I have Titans unlocked. I forgot. Ooh, okay. So we're not going to be able to do everything in this one episode, but um, we won't do Titans this time because I really want to show you what going to another planet looks like. But we have the Zeus, which is an airship, I believe. Um, we have the Atlas, which is the only one I've actually built. It's a, it's like a, a centaur, um, like a robotic centaur, and it basically slams the ground and causes earthquakes. And it's so cool. Uh, the Ares looks like a rolling fortress. Um, oh, it's a hover tank. Okay, so it's a it's a hover tank. Um, and then lastly, we have the Helios, which is an invasion titan can link to it. Oh, that's cool. Tax everything. Okay, I haven't built the Helios. Whoa, that's ridiculously huge. 
So I guess it's kind of a Death Star type unit where it uh, it looks like it probably has a gun or maybe that's a teleporter there right in the middle. So it can teleport units to other planets. I'm guessing it has some sort of weapons as well. Uh, how do I cancel? Okay, <laughs> I don't really want to build that. So these guys are just going to build me a space station, uh, right? Cha, and then jig. Jig is for mining on gas uh, planets, which is really cool. Uh, you can't actually land on a gas planet, which makes sense. I want to build a teleporter. I'm thinking I want to build a teleporter. Somewhat close to their base. Where's their base? I don't even know if they're alive anymore. They're over there. Okay, so I'm gonna build the teleporter this way. I think it goes like you can change the direction like that. Okay. Oh crap. We'll finish the space station and then build me a teleporter. I wasn't holding shift. There we go. So she just said that you're using you have too much resources basically and you're not using them properly. It's because I've told these guys to harvest the whole planet, so you can see. They're still, I may have stopped the expanders, but yeah, they're basically still here. We'll just keep on keeping on. We'll do that. The other thing that's important to build, so you have a cap on how much you can store. So we have 1.5K and 45K. Um, you actually can burn through that really quickly. So, oh, are you alive? Why is it dead? It has low health. I guess it got hurt. So we're going to tell this guy to go all the way to that alternate planet over here and land. We're going to tell it to unload right here. So what's going to happen now is, wow, it launched quickly. I thought we'd get to watch it. So it launched out of the atmosphere of that planet and is zooming over. Holy God, that's fast. The last time I did this, it took like literally four minutes to make it over there. So maybe I just got lucky in the two. You know what? It looks like the two planets. Oh, it's a moon. That's why. This planet, Mangzor, looks like it's a moon for the other one. Because look at the um, the orbit. We're there. We're freaking there. Wow, that was super fast. Okay, so we're landing on the moon. And there we go. We've now moved our commander unit to the moon. We're going to build some mass uh, storage and energy storage. So these will expand that cap that I just mentioned. And we're going to build um an air factory no we don't want an air factory we want vehicles a couple vehicle fact no we don't we don't want vehicles <laughs> uh. and we can't commander detected i'm not really paying attention to the other planet uh whatever vehicle factory is fine and a bot factory we, we want to use this space this planet to spawn robots and then ship them over via the teleporter that's kind of the idea that i'm going for um, where's the teleporter? There it is. Okay, so what we need to do then is protect the teleporter with some defenses. So we're going to put anchors up. The anchors are the uh, space station, which actually... Oh, I didn't do that right. Let's do... Um, I like it. If you click and drag, it'll actually... Look, you can do this. You can put anchors around the entire planet, which is super cool. It takes forever, though. I tried to do that once. Didn't really work out. So I'm going to put anchors there. Yeah. So just a grid of nine, uh, one, two, three, yeah, I don't know, nine. Um, we need some builders, however. Oh, we sent our builders off to conquer the world. Um, where'd they go? They might have died already. All right, you guys, you're done with that. Go back to base. I want you to build some defenses. We're going to build some, um, t some laser towers, some anti-air. Where's the lobber? Oh, I had to disable... So you can actually um, enable and disable the perks, the different like um, you know upgrades that you get. And I ran out of space, and there was one that I really wanted, so I had to actually disable the um, the artillery units because I wasn't really using them anyway. So anyway, so that should be a nice little. These are walls. If you or if you're wondering, this line that I built is actually like a laser wall. I don't even know how it works, but I believe uh, they're pretty good. So yes, the. Um, What's this called? The anchor is in place. That will shoot little laser beams down on enemy units. Blah 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 blah. So we're coming along. What is this? Oh, that's my space station. Okay, so we want to build a. We want to build. No, we don't want to build that. Nope. Stop. Yes. Uh, we want to build. These are amazing. These solar arrays. So it's literally something that floats in space and uh, has solar panels and generates a ton of energy. It's like an advanced power plant. Um, but it's a unit so you can move it around and I can move it to different planets So if it gets attacked here, and I don't like it I could just go like hide it in space and it'll just generate tons of power for me. They're really cool I'm a big fan um, There's a plane that does it too, but it only gives you like a hundred energy 
it's still good, um, but I end up having to spam like 30 of them just to make a difference. And then the question is, where do you put it? <laughs> because planes are kind of vulnerable. Um, so I don't know. It's not my favorite. Uh, this is a much better solution. Look at this thing. It's just a huge network of solar panels and it generates 2,500 energy, which is uh, pretty darn good. The basic um, power generator, just for reference, wherever that is here, I think generates 750. So quite a bit more um, is this guy, 2,500. Yeah, not bad. So we're going to build two of those. That should be more than enough. Um, where is he? What's all this? There's stuff on fire. What is this? I don't like the fire. What's up with that? I don't know. I feel, I feel like bad things are happening. I'm really confused. Wasn't someone building? Okay, there it is. There's all the... Oh, wait. The trees are on fire. Oh, man, that's cool. That fire actually looks really cool. I mean, it looks kind of silly and tune shaded, but I like it. Okay, well, hopefully that's not going to damage my stuff. I don't, I don't know, actually. Uh, anyway, not too big of a deal. All right, the anchors are almost all built. What's this? Oh, an umbrella. That's an anti-orbital thing. So I need to I need to be careful. Not let my uh, guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do to deal with the umbrella is there is a super freaking amazing unit, you guys. Unbelievable. This is a radar. I'm just going to use it. This is So the Artemis is anti-orbital. I don't think they have an orbital launcher yet. I don't know. I don't have any radar scouting. It's kind of lousy, but I don't think so. So anyway, um, this is a big radar station. I'm going to use it to kind of keep uh, keep an eye on where the commander's location is once it's built. Oh, it's taken a little while. Anyway, what I'm going to build is this guy, the SS SXX-1304 laser platform. Oh my god, these things are insanely good. So it's, it's a satellite, of course, that sits out in space and then shoots this pulse of like plasma laser down, and it is so powerful it's so freaking cool it's not even an experimental unit it's just a regular old unit oh man i love them they are insane if you get two of them online you can pick apart an entire base in like a minute it's they're really strong i think they're probably overpowered for what they are um i think though they have uh oh uh oh uh oh yeah that, that's gonna be a problem i don't think you can move these yeah that's okay we're gonna lose the station that's okay no big deal Wow, we're gonna, how far does that guy attack? I guess pretty far. Oh well, it's no big deal. The anchors are just kind of there to uh, keep them from attacking our gate, or what is this called? Our teleporter. Oh yeah, we need to link our teleporters. Oh man, I haven't been paying attention to the commander at all. So you can do picture in picture, which is really nice. Uh, let's come over here and we want to go to the moon. Where's our commander? Okay, there's our commander. So check this out. You got picture in picture, so you can keep an eye on two different planets at the same time. What is this? Naval factory. Okay. Um, and if you hit this button, swap, bloop, it switches it. So if I want to be messing around with this um, planet for a little bit, and then I can go back to messing around with... Oh, no, I can't build... Um, I need to build a teleporter. Anyway, so I can be messing around with this planet, you know, give it some orders and stuff, and then um, switch back really quick. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing. Tell these guys to build mass extractors everywhere. Do all that fun jive. Um, oh, you can build a teleporter. Okay, no, no, you're going to build a, build me a teleporter. Right, ya. You're going to follow him. Cool. So that's that. I'm going to start building an army. Um, I want to collect an army over here, and I want it to be made of... 20 tanks, uh, 5 AA, and a couple flame tanks, 10 flame tanks, a couple docks, a couple grenadiers, uh, a couple stitches, a couple sparks. Okay, that's a huge army. So that's going to start being in production. Once it's built, we'll send it through the teleporter. Let's switch over back to this. Um, we're letting our opponent build, but again, they're not really doing that much. A drifter, I think that's the hover tank. Now, they have been harassed quite a bit. Oh, that's cool. A tank, Commander. I've never seen that. I like that. That's a cool model. I like the four different treads. Seems like he walks really slow. I don't know if they're all the same speed or not. It seems like there's not distinguished factions. So, like, his bots look identical to mine. They're just a different color. So there's not actually actual factions of units. Unfortunately, that was one of the coolest things about Supreme Commander was um, the factions had very different looks and kind of 
styles about them. Okay, here's that super laser. Okay, let's get this. This is my radar. I think the range of it is pretty awesome. We're just going to keep it over top of that, and then let's get our super blaster. Let's see if we can master blast this and that. I want to try to prevent him from finishing this um, umbrella, and then when he's done, he can come kill that umbrella. He probably will get killed, but I can build five more. <laughs> so this game is all about economy. When you have a good economy, you can pretty much do anything. You're unstoppable, so kind of what we're going for here oh no that's the radar let's keep the radar let's keep the radar over here it seems like it's doing just fine i do have to say all these weird icons are hard to get used to oh he's getting attacked okay check this out check this laser blast out boom oh my god it's so freaking fierce no no i wanted you to see another one all right let's swap back let's see how things are going over here doing okay um we're kind of running low on power Let's have you build some power. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We have this whole planet to ourselves. All right, so let's link up our gates so you can see what that looks like. Oh, we're going to run out of power if we do that. Uh, we'll wait a second. Let's build some more. Oops. Oh, no. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Crap. Okay. So I, I had... Ugh, whatever. I messed up the views. I'm still getting used to how this whole thing works. So, yeah, that's fine. Um, where's my orbital factory? And where's my orbital builder, guys? These guys. I want y'all to help speed this up. Alright, so instead of going over there, we're going to harass. Let's see if we can get there quickly. We're going to harass the base and try to do some damage. I just want y'all to see that laser because it's so amazeballs. So cool. Alright, so what are you building? You're still building those. Uh, give me some of these. Give me some power. Some power. We need more power, Captain. All right, so these are so cool, man. I wish they had a real name so I could be like, oh, the Artemis is so cool. The SSX-1304. I don't even know. That's probably some sort of like leet talk for something. I don't know. Text to letter translation thing. Okay, here goes. Oh, it's like a purple beam of death. Zoom. Oh, look how much damage it does. It does so much damage. Oh my god. It's one shotting every building. Look at that. Oh my god. Like, if you don't build orbital defense, you are screwed. Because one of these basic attack units will just slaughter everything. Boom. Oh, it looks like it has an area of effect, too. Because I killed uh, both of those jets with one blast. Wow, this unit is incredible. Let's look at it from the ground. Oh my god, it just disintegrates. No one even knows. It's like, hey, we're safe. What? What happened to Tom? He just blew up. I don't know, I didn't see. What? Billy, what's going on? Yeah, crazy. This is why space weapons are so terrifying. Because uh, you don't see them coming. You know what? I'm probably just going to kill the commander with this. But, um, no I won't. Because that'll be... Alright, fine, fine, fine. Build a teleporter, we'll do the thing. All right, he's given up. He's literally not trying anymore, so we're gonna stop. We're gonna stop doing that, and we're just going to, we should have enough power now. Let's tell all our power guys to get over here where it's safer. I got two of, I got two of those amazing blaster guys. That's, yeah, I could definitely wipe them off the face of the planet. So uh, here's our space teleporter, and, uh, our moon teleporter, and here's our Earth, I guess, ish teleporter. So what you can do is if you have one clicked, you can click on the other one. Wait, uh, right click on it. And boom, they are linked now. So now you send units through one and they go through the other one. So let's demonstrate that. I'm going to swap the cameras. Is there a shortcut for swapping cameras? Because that would be incredibly helpful. Uh, wow, there's a lot of options. Um, communication, with PPP, swap. Shift Q, that seems like it's too much work. Let's just go for Q. And you can be Shift Q. Okay, save. All right, so Q, close, resume. Okay, Q is going, to, yeah, there we go. Q is going to switch back and forth. That's nice. All right, so let's get um, let's get my units through. Let's get these guys out of the way. Oh, yeah, I got a nice little army coming along. Uh, let's tell all these guys to go through the teleporter, see what that looks like. Oh, no, I thought this was the front. I wasn't sure. Oh, well, it's working. So, yep, they're zoning in, and here they come out the other side. That's so cool. So these guys have all just literally jumped planets. Oh man, that means 
they're facing the wrong way. Okay, so for future reference, oh look, it's a big arrow. <laughs> I don't know how I missed that. Yeah, there's two arrows here and there's a big arrow on the front. Probably should have figured that out, but oh well. So I guess I'm just waiting for all these guys to get through. Seems like they're kind of in each other's way. Da -da -da. I'm glad I did that, that's great. Okay, so let's grab all these guys. Let's uh, sort of gather our forces over here and then we will attack. Let's just kill the commander. It's gonna be the end of the map, but yeah. I mean, you can see, you could build a secret army on another planet that no one knows about or can't really touch you and then just teleport them in and wreck house. So like someone could be like, wow, I'm taking over this planet, I'm almost done, and then boom, nope, not even close. You have to be able to manage multiple planets at the same time. And I have to say, that's gonna be a challenge. Like, wow, he's running. He knows what's coming, the tank horde. Yeah, those those laser state those uh, laser satellites are so powerful. <laughs> They're so good. Um, really, really strong. Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah, I have him on uh, radar now. All right, let's send in the bad boys. Take care of this little business. So a little tank on tank action. Holy God! Oh yeah, the commanders have some sort of um, ultimate weapon. I don't know what how, how to use it. Whoa! He just cleared out our whole army. Let's actually take a look at that, because I've never done that. It seems like it might be useful. Um, how do I use your special ability attack? Wait, Alt-Fire. Alt-Fire is D. Oh, it's the D cannon. <laughs> yeah, in Supreme Commander you had the, what was called the D gun, because you used D to, to activate it. Cool, all right, so you get the D gun. Yeah, it's that's basically what it is. Cool, 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 cool. That way the commander can actually defend himself. Oh, I missed it. Oh, well. Looks like the satellites blew him up. And that's a wrap, guys. That is a wrap, guys and gals. So we got to look at some of the cool space stations, um, the solar energy producers that are in space, the most, uh, my favorite weapon so far, which is the satellite laser and the teleporters. A lot of progress. Um, I have to say there's not as much new stuff as I was expecting normally. Well, not normally, but... I think there's normally like three different tiers. It seems like there's only two tiers of, uh, of tech in this game. Maybe they're going to be adding more. Maybe not. I almost feel like with Forged Alliance, there was just too many units because they all seem to overlap each other in abilities. And it was like there was always more than one tool. Like you'd have an anti-air tech one, an anti-air tech two, an anti-air tech three, and then a tank tech one, tech two, tech... So it was like there was so much redundancy is almost ridiculous so i kind of like in this one how every unit seems to have its place and there's not a lot of redundancy especially in the orbitals the orbitals are very specialized it seems they only do one thing and i like that i i, I find that enjoyable because it's a little bit more about it's more strategic when you have units that are more diverse and can do anything um you could just spam whatever and your army can kind of hold its own but um but anyway there's less skill involved so we're gonna do our little explore we'll pick up a new do i have a slot no i don't okay Sub commander, add sub commander that will join you in battles. Oh, that's cool. Advanced defense technology. I haven't really had to build defense because I attack early so that my um, my opponents can't um, can't hit me. You know, first strike is really important in these kinds of games. Um, I think in this case I'm just going to grab another data bank so I can find something else. So let's take a look at these real quick. I have the Titans. Um, that unlocks the Titans and then this actually makes them all half price. So <laughs> I've discounted Titans. Um, bots. These makes the bots uh, cheaper. This makes them faster. This makes them stronger. This makes them stronger, do, do more damage and faster. Holy cow. And then this makes them stronger. So the bots are like remarkably stronger than than the default. Um, this gave me some orbital, basic orbitals. This gives me basic air. Oh, this makes my um, my uh, currency. What do you call it? Uh, my economy uh, better, which is really helpful, of course. Yeah. Um, I've basically been focusing on bots. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, we're going to quickly try to work through this game type so we can actually get into some of the more what I would consider interesting uh, game modes, which is like skirmish and multiplayer. But yes, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, or share, comment, whatever you want to do, and we'll play again soon. Bye-bye.